Hi there. It's been a while since we spoke last. Even though it's been barely two months, Christmas feels like it happened yesterday, and yet a lifetime ago. It's been a tough start to the year. My parents, my sister, her family, Mario, me and the kids are all good, so don't worry. However, sadness did come over our family, as we have lost someone I love very much. Some of you have contacted me to see if I was okay, and I cannot explain to you how much that meant to me. It is so strange how people you haven't met face to face are able to reach out and touch your heart. And I'm still finding it hard to make sense of this whole internet thing. How much do I share? How vulnerable do I get? But one thing I know for sure, not with any rhyme or reason, but I know that it didn't feel right to record a regular episode. So take this just as an entry in my diary and saying hi to some friends I haven't met in real life yet. In the last video, I showed you all the handmade gifts that I made for Christmas for my family and friends. There was one, uh, one project, a uh, lab blanket for my father, that was not finished uh, at that time of the recording. But I did finish it, and uh, the yarn that I used was mostly handspun merino, and that blend of merino and blue face Lester, the one that reminded me of a snowy owl. It came out beautiful. Considering I had all the yarn already spun, Early in January, I wove another blanket, but this time for friends of mine. And uh, since we were in lockdown for the past couple of months, like with the exception of uh, Christmas Day and New Year's, we couldn't really see each other, so I only gave it to them a couple of days ago. Those two blankets were woven on a new rigid header loom that I got uh, just before Christmas. It's the same rigid header loom that I have, uh, that I already have, Ashford uh, rigid header. But uh, this one is a bit larger, it's 120 centimeters wide, uh, which I think is uh, 48 inches. And uh, I got that one uh, so I can make some uh, couch blankets. Now being so wide, it does give me some issues in warping and the tension. It's a bit uh, tricky to navigate. So I decided to try to make things easier for myself and make something like a warping board from some old wood that I had and I wanted to repurpose. I didn't try the board yet, but Mario recorded me while I was making it. When I saw the footage, I was shocked to see how tired and colorless my face was. And the first instinct was to crop the video so only my hands show. But I found that it might be quite important to show how grief and internal stress can have immediate impact on our body. I 
I have also finished the coyote blanket that I call and uh, that I was working on from October last year and that project was such a pleasure to work with from blending the fibers to carding them, spinning, knitting it was really a gentle thing for the soul the beautiful simplicity of a guard stitch but working with this lovely fiber it was really like a um, warm hug every time I picked it up and then of course there was spinning Days without water and long the sun so grown We cross over borders to get where we are and it's all for you it's all for you it's all for you it's all for you It's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you Nights without sleeping, cause you fear the night And days without eating, cause it ain't enough for two and it's all for you It's all for you It's all for you It's all for you I did it all for you It's all for you It's all for you It's all for you So far we had a really mild winter with most of the days being uh, sunny and warm but in typical Cyprus winter fashion the skies opened
knitting needles I usually use are the Knit Pros or uh, Addies, circular, fixed circulars, and I never tried the in interchangeable ones. But I did want to, I did want to try uh, Licky needles. They looked really pretty, and I heard some good uh, reviews. The driftwood ones. So I ordered them from uh, Lovecrafts uh, in UK, and I ordered them. I think it was 13th of January and I was waiting for them to arrive and uh, the update on the order it was just saying sent to the warehouse that they didn't ship yet and so forth and just a couple of days ago the website uh, they put an update that they suspended shipping to some of the countries including Cyprus so I sent them an email to cancel the order but uh, that was more than a month and um, and it happened a very similar thing uh, with the painting that I sold. In January, early in January, I sold a painting, something that a portrait that I made a couple of years ago, and it's a painting that I really love. And it was difficult, kind of, for me to say bye to it. But uh, the man that ordered it in England, he wrote to me and he told me that he really, really loved it, and that he's looking forward to it. So I packaged the painting the way that I usually do. It was done on a canvas panel and I sent it uh, with DataPost. Now DataPost, even using the normal postal service, DataPost is their courier um, section. And normally that takes about three to five days uh, to reach uh, any destination in the world because it's express, it's insured, it's registered. So I sent that on the... Um, hmm. I'm not sure. I think it was 13th or 11th, 11th of January, actually. And when I was looking at the tracking, it uh, it said that it left Cyprus the following day. But then it got lost. There was no updates on tracking the moment that it arrived in UK. And it finally arrived to the customer a couple of days ago, actually last week, which was again about a month. So that was all happening in UK and I believe the issues have to do with uh, Brexit and the delays and confusions are there. But the problem is, is that the painting came damaged and um, the customer said that uh, it's not really a problem, he doesn't think it's a problem because uh, since it's on a panel, the panel was kind of bent out of shape and just the corner was crushed. But he said that uh, he loves the painting and once he puts it in the frame, he thinks it's going to be okay. But anyway, the painting is there now and I hope uh, that um, it found a good home. I know that this is a difficult time for all of us. It's like 2020 banged its fist on the table and said, I'm not done yet. The way that I usually tell you at the end of each video, I hope you're well and I hope you find your center. I do, I hope you're well. I hope you find your center and that you bear with me while I find mine. Bye for now.